What do you think of this one, huh? This is a nice one, right? Okay, give me something else. That's the white thing. Ooh, okay. Now this would, I mean, I wouldn't normally wear this, but... Mm, no, it's too much like that uh, poop daddy guy, and then Sting's gonna come in, and it's gonna be a big mess, and they did it last year, it was stupid. I don't know, Marilyn, I mean, you're very picky. I don't, I've been through like almost every single suit here. What do you like? I don't know. Why don't you call up one of your famous buddies like Woody Harrelson, see if he could send you his uh, hemp suit, and then we'll get Snoop Dogg, and he can smoke you. It'll be funny. That's a good idea. You know what else I could do? I could I could come on stage with my ass hanging out and wearing mascara, and then I, you know, then I'd be all bad. Ooh, uh, mascara, huh? That's how it's gonna be now. The 1998 MTV Video Music Awards live Thursday night at eight, seven central, hosted by Ben Stiller. I was I'm, I wasn't serious. I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't. No, no, whatever. You know, like you have an ass, but. You are taking the stage. You are not going to be nominated, obviously. You, this is just a sort of a featured performer. Um, the idea of, I think, shock will come up because you will not take the stage and just perform a simple song, I don't think. So why is that element of performance important to you? To make sure that people don't fall asleep during the awards, mostly. Because um, most award shows are like that. Yeah, I think um, it's an opportunity for me to condense what I represent into four minutes. And, uh, and I represent a lot, so it's got to be very powerful. Well, is this a good way to introduce people to uh, Mechanical Animals? Because you haven't toured for it yet. You have a brand new guitar player. Um, this is definitely one element of Mechanical Animals. Uh, it's, it's more complicated than to be represented with one song. But this is uh, part of the attitude, and I think it's uh, because the song is a, an indictment of Hollywood and the rock and roll lifestyle, it's very appropriate to debut it on the MTV Music Awards. People aren't going to get it, though. I hope they don't. You know, most of them don't deserve to. I've tried my hardest to be as unappealing and as unattractive as I could be. Um, but Courtney uh, wins that one. <laughs> How about the pressure of following up last year's performance on the Video Music Awards by coming back again this year? Do you feel that's a, that performance is hard to top? Are you ready to try to do it this year? Um, I don't think it was hard to top that. that I mean, I'm not sure what we're doing this year because I haven't seen it yet. It's just, we're just sort of just going to show up and see what happens. I think it should, should be okay. Um, it's, there's a lot of surprises. Are you excited about the response to the record so far? Are you happy with the way people are taking it? I'm kind of excited to see Courtney's breasts, actually. More, more than, um, although I, I've already seen them before, but I, tonight I hope she shows them. How'd you come up with this fabulous outfit you got on today? Um, I found it, actually. Yeah, I kind of found it. Just lying around the back of the closet there, that kind of thing? It's a little 80s metal. I wanted to bring back some 80s metal, you know, if you're like, you know, the old Mickey Six kind of style. Here's Marilyn Manson! This is 
and I'm here because my new album Mechanical Animals comes out tomorrow. The mark of a new age that I'm trying to make sure happens to bring some life back into rock and roll. I think it's been uh, the music industry along with conservative America that has uh, followed the era of grunge music and made rock and roll less and less relevant. It's something that I focused on greatly while I'm making this record and I hope that um, what I did is something that everyone enjoys. The album kind of examines my role in um, uh, now that I had put myself in the position of a superstar and uh, how that changes you and how uh, once you begin to finally feel things for the first time, uh, how overwhelming it can all be. So uh, from this record, I kind of come from a more vulnerable point of view, almost uh, childlike or alien. I wasn't looking to um, piss people off so much with this video as much as um, show them the way I feel and uh, my imagery kind of represents the way I feel on this record. For me the image uh, that I used uh, kind of represents uh, being naked to the world, being fragile, being sexless um, and being uh, uh, an image of wonder that people don't necessarily understand. Sick. Crazy. Out there. Over the past several years, there's been a marked increase in the number of exceptionally violent, hateful, racist, anti-woman songs that are not only out in the market, but in many cases are topping the charts. Still stand by everything that I've done in the past, and I think I'm still going to keep those same enemies because they're going to always dislike me for whatever I have to say. The album has to do with uh, drugs is often used as a metaphor besides the obvious term and uh, while writing it and after going through the transformation of Antichrist Superstar I began to feel again emotions for the first time strangely enough and the more I began to feel the more and more the world started to look like mechanical animals and that was the theme that started running through that and uh, I was kind of studying in my life and in other people around me and particularly in Hollywood how we numb ourselves and make ourselves less human and more mechanical. It's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. You know, I set out to be something superhuman, something the greatest thing I could be with Antichrist Superstar. And what I didn't figure into that was 
a vulnerability was part of it, and that was something that I was not acknowledging. You know, I didn't want to feel. Now that I am, it's, it's uh, I'm sure everybody's been through, you know, and it's, it's, it's what life is. And uh, it's crazy. People it's hard. love it's you like now. Being, it's like a rebirth. It's like being an infant. Everything's bright. Everything's very painful. And uh, so in some ways, I've gotten back my innocence that I was looking for. There's more spirituality and music than you can find in religion a lot of times, but I'm not one to condemn anyone's pursuit of God or, or happiness or anything like that. I just think that uh, we're raised to feel very guilty for being ourselves, and, and that's a large part of what Christianity stands for. But I think there's great and valuable things uh, in the Bible. I, if anything, Antichrist Superstar was a lot of parallels with my life with uh, someone like Lucifer. Mechanical Animals has a lot more parallels between me and Jesus Christ. Regarding like numerology, you were talking about that. Your new font is like using a one and a five, and then the release date is the 15th, and there allegedly are 15 tracks on the album. Can you elaborate on It's also January 5th is my birthday. I'm going to be 30 this year. That's half of my uh, oh, age. Wow. Um, there's a lot of different things, but if you look for coincidences, you know, you'll start realizing that there are no such thing as coincidences. Hey.